everybody, Trevor here, TNT Overhaul. Uh, working on the 98 Dodge Ram 1500 5.9 Magnum V8 again. Today, we're doing an oil change. Uh, we're going to switch this puppy over to high mileage. It's long past. It's got 190,000 on it. It's still running strong, but uh, we're getting a tiny bit of smoke and uh, from the first fire up, which it might just be rich, actually. But uh, I need to get a different heat range plug in there, I think. Anyway... So here's here's my baby. It's got stainless shorty equal length <laughs> headers, uh, throttle body spacer, uh, cool, cool air intake, um, Summit Racing eight millimeter silicone wires. We have a uh, air horns, <laughs> got MSD coil. Um, yeah, I just gotta play with the spark plugs because. But uh, anyway, so let's change the oil on this puppy. All right, so what you're going to need? Some gloves, no glove, no love. All right, we got uh, my snap-on claw for the oil filter. This thing, this thing is amazing. Uh, get your sockets, got your rag. Um, I like to do the oil filter first. That's just me. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. All right, there she is up there. Tucked up under the header. So we'll get our claw positioned on there just right. Okay. And give her a little turn. Sorry. All right. All right. I definitely. It's a truck plus is up on ramps, so we got got a little bit of a distance here. But we'll give it a little bit of a turn. And uh, let it leak down a little bit. There goes the speed demon. Okay, looks like we're leaking some coolant somewhere. That's not cool. Get it? Coolant? Cool. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to find out where the heck that's coming from. First things first, darn it. All right. Sorry. Make sure you're always make sure that the o ring comes with the oil filter. Double gasketing is a sure way of having oil everywhere. So, all right. Now we'll get the other filter ready. All right, so we got our Pure Later Classic. It's an L1470, 14670, excuse me. There's another oil change special at Advance Auto Parts. High mileage oil change house brand. Pure Later Classic. It was like 23 bucks total after tax. What I do, obviously you don't want to super tighten these things. It's not necessary because they kind of tend to tighten themselves. I like to put a rag on here. A little bit extra grip, I don't know why, even though I got rubbers on. <laughs> I should about do it right there. All right. Now you want to get your brake clean, something like that, and uh, clean up some of that damn oil. That looks much better. All right. Now let's train this baby. Okay, so you're gonna need a 16 millimeter. I got my 16 millimeter 3H drive. You know, another thing I don't know if I've ever mentioned is you always wanna make sure you use six point sockets on six point things, you know, hex head. Use uh, what's common nowadays, it seems like every wrench is a 12 point and sockets are 12 points on everything. And 
yeah, it's cool and all, but uh, you know, you use a 12.16 millimeter on a 6.16 millimeter, and people tend to strip it. I mean, it's just it's a common thing. So, anyway, this just kind of helps. A little tip. So, let's see if I can get this to the point where I can do it with one hand. I don't want to put this down, but you want to crack this open. That's your next step. All right, she's cracked open. Let's make sure we got this in the right spot. Hey, Daddy. Okay, there we go. We've got to get the lighting right again. And there we have it. All right, get that lighting right, sorry. Anyway, so let that fully drain, um, and uh, then we'll put the plug back in and uh, fill her up, all right? Okay, so we'll get it, once it's done draining, get the bolt back in there. So now we'll fill it up. Now this 98 Dodge Ram 1500 5.9 American machine uh, takes five quarts. So I picked up some 1030 high mileage motor oil with this oil change special. And uh, gonna pour it in five quarts. All right.
Chloe, I'm doing a video. <laughs> you can't keep singing and being loud. Okay, that's why I was trying to talk louder and stuff to get your attention. Well, if you want to sing anything, but now it's not time. You want to throw those red ones in the recycle bin? We're in the safe zone, baby. We are a little bit on an incline, so. But uh, anyway, hope this helps somebody. A little change on a 98 Ram. It's pretty much the same for most most of the pickups. Um, anyway, I'll have to save that coolant leak issue for another video. But uh, anyway, thanks guys. Appreciate you watching, like, subscribe, share, and I hope this helps someone. See you later.